The Life and Sad Ending of Bobby Buntruck Robert William Buntruck was born in Denver, Colorado on August 4, 1952, to Robert E. and Maxine Buntruck. At age three, he moved with his family to California. Not long after settling in, some of his neighbors decided Buntruck was just the cutest thing they'd ever seen and pressured his parents into getting him an agent. It seems the neighbors knew what they were talking about because not too long after his parents secured management for him, Buntruck started scoring television acting jobs. In 1961, success soon came to Buntruck when he won the role of Harold Sport Baxter on the sitcom Hazel starring Shirley Booth. The series aired for five seasons, 154 episodes, aired in primetime from September 28, 1961 to April 11, 1966, and was produced by Screen Gems, first on NBC with Don DeFore and Whitney Blake in the role of Harold's parents, George and Dorothy Baxter. After a four-season run on NBC, the network canceled the series, but it was picked up by CBS for what would be a fifth and final season. In an effort to appeal to a younger audience, DeFore and Blake were dropped after the move to CBS. The departure of their characters was explained in that they were in Baghdad, Iraq, for George's work. Harold and Hazel moved in with George's never-before-mentioned younger brother Steve, Ray Fulmer, a real estate agent, Steve's wife, Barbara, Lynn Borden, and their daughter Susie, Julia Benjamin. Besides the gig on Hazel, he played a dozen other bit parts, including a turn on the Donna Reed Show episodes Mary's Little Lambs, which also featured another short-lived actor, Karen Kupsinet. The first of his three appearances on the western The Virginia saw him acting alongside Albert Salmi. In 1967, after his third Virginian appearance, he retired, ostensibly to return to the life of a, quote, regular kid. Sometime after that, Buntrick moved with his family, which now included younger sister Stella, to South Dakota, and in 1970, he joined the National Guard. On the evening of April 7, 1974, he was on his way to visit a friend and had to drive over what's been described as a Y-shaped bridge. The bridge had been damaged by some major flooding in 1972 and had been under construction for two years, yet it was lacking safety barriers, signs, or anything else alerting drivers to the fact that between the two lanes of the bridge there was a gaping hole large enough for someone to drive a full-size car into. Buntruck was the unlucky driver who did. Most reports say that the rescue crews were called quickly but did not arrive in time. Even if help had arrived within five minutes, his odds of survival still would have been very low. The accident was reported and drivers arrived at the scene. They eventually reached the car and discovered Buntruck's body. Buntruck had tried to escape, but he had been unable to pry the door open far enough due to the mud and the sheer force of the water. When he died, he was only 21 years old. He was buried in Keystone Cemetery, Keystone.